In this video, we're going to create a blow dryer assembly um, and use a bunch of different tools uh, to do so. So we'll use all shell, some other advanced 3D features to make sure that we can make complicated designs that have flowing patterns and things like that. This is meant to be as an example to show off some of the and to get used to them and using those features together. But to get started, we're gonna pop over to the origin we're going to show the XY plane. We're going to do a lot of our drawing around the origin. So where these three planes intersect is going to be our main focus for a lot of this design. I'll click visibility so we can see that plane. This will help us uh, draw our part. To get started, let's create a 2D sketch. I'm going to choose that XY plane. I'll start with a circle in the center of any diameter. And I'm going to create my rough shape from here. I'm going to build this out of this circle. So I'm just going to snap a line and make sure that it will come down to the origin and snap that to the edge circle. I'm going to trim the rest of this side here so you can go to your trim tool or press x and i'm going to trim that outside shape here so that i'm left with the circle arc and the portion of the rectangle that i kept now i'm going to dimension this this arc here is actually two inches that should make our drawing a lot larger this height is 1.5 and I'll make sure that this line is horizontal I should fully constrain this drawing before we finish up I'm gonna select fill it and I'm gonna make this a quarter inch radius once I'm done I'll finish the sketch and I'll move over to the Revolve tool. Our profile is going to be our sketch that we selected. And for the axis, we're just going to select that Y axis here, or we can select this line. When I turn this to three dimensions, we should get a upside down bowl shape. Press OK, and that should give us our revolved feature. Now we're going to create a loft with the handle of the blow dryer. And to do that, we're gonna use this XY plane and create a few offset planes from that. So I'll go to plane and I'll click offset plane. It's asking me for the face I would like to offset from and then the distance. So the XY is our reference plane and then the offset plane in this case will be 0.5. I'm going to create another offset plane from that, and that will be 3.5. And I'll do this one more time, and that will be 4.25. Should have three planes outside of the original X and Y plane. We'll start a 2D sketch on this work plane. And this is probably a good time to change your view to a different view. I'm gonna change mine to wireframe and that way I can kind of see my, my work a little better. If you want, you can actually hide some of these work planes if that makes it easier. We don't really need the X and Y, but I'm gonna leave them there for now so that you can see all of them as we continue. Let's start a 2D sketch on the X and Y plane. And I'm gonna create a rectangle from the origin that is 0.5 in height and 1.5 in length. I'm going to fill it the two corners so that they are quarter inch fillets from here to here. 
I'll finish this sketch. I'm going to start a new sketch and I'll select the next plane. I'm going to use this point here to start my next sketch. So we're going to project this geometry and I just need to project the one corner. So in order to do that, we'll say project geometry. And what I really want is this line here. I'll draw my rectangle from this point, make sure that it aligns with this part. And my dimensions will change slightly. This will be 1.4 and this will be 0.5. I'm going to fill it those a similar radius. Finish my sketch and then move on to my next part. That should give you all of the sketches and double check to make sure that everything is properly aligned. You can see that sketch three doesn't have, if it isn't fully constrained here. And if you notice, I didn't pull through that point there. And now I can Move this sketch over. Now coincident those points. Double check to make sure all of your sketches are fully constrained and that you have these dimensions on the screen. We're going to loft through this entire part here. And we're just going to select all of the sketches. And we can do that in the graphics window, or we can do that in the model browser. And we'll leave this as the rails and select one, three, four. That should give us our shape that we're looking for in this particular design. Let's hit OK. And I'm going to switch out of wireframe to shaded with edges. And I'm going to hide those work planes. Now you can see our assembly is coming together quite nice. We're going to create an extrusion for the top part of the blow dryer. And we're going to use the YZ plane in order to do that. So we'll create a new sketch on that YZ plane. And then we're just going to create a semicircle. So I'm going to use that line tool. And I want to make sure it's aligned there. I'm going to use the center point arc. I'll highlight over this line, make sure I get my edges. Should give me the arc I'm looking for. I am drawing in the middle of my part, so it would be nice to go back to wireframe. It's my drawing. I'll dimension this out. This is going to have a Radius of 0.75, this intersection point from the origin over to the center is going to be 1.125. We're going to extrude this a full 5.5 inches. I'm 
make sure that you change the direction so it's going in the right direction. If you do want this to be a join, we'll hit OK. Go back to shaded with edges, and we can see our assembly is coming together quite nicely. I'm going to hide the visibility of this work plane just so you can see the part a little better. We're going to create a 3D fillet and we'll use the 3D fillet tool and we'll use a radius of 0.15. Go to fillet where it says zero selected. We're going to change this to 0.15 and then we're going to select couple edges. We want this edge, this edge, and that edge. We'll hit apply and this allows you to add more. We have a fillet in our feature and that's what we want to keep so we'll leave it just like that. Our next step is to create a shell from the housing so we're going to flip our part over and we're going to shell through this portion with a value of 0.125. And this is a 3D feature. So find your shell command. You're going to select this face, and then you're going to select this face. For the thickness, we're going to put 0.125. This is going to be a cut. And we'll hit OK. And that should give us a pretty clean inside so we could fit our electronics and wiring and heating coil and things like that. We're going to set this to the home view and we're going to draw a leader for a pattern to create vents for this side right here. So to get started, we're just going to draw right on this face right here. So we'll create 2D sketch right on this face. And we're just going to dimension out a two point rectangle in space over here. And we'll use our dimension tool and we'll reference this top right corner here. So the distance from here to here is going to be 1.45. The distance from here to here is going to be 1.17. And this is a half inch by one eighth part. So that's five. And that should be fully constrained. Now we're just going to create a simple extrusion from this. And we want this to be a cut operation. And we want this to go 0.13 into our part. If I zoom in, notice how it's actually just nicking this corner. That's okay because we want this whole feature to be patterned across so we get something that looks pretty nice. This is just going to be the start of our pattern. So I'll hit OK and you can see I have that little nick in the side. And our goal now is to create a rectangular pattern. So select rectangular pattern. For features, you can go over to your model browser and select that extrusion. And then we have two places where we need to select a direction. And it doesn't matter the order, but make sure you know which one's which. So for this direction, I'll select this line here. And then for the other direction we can select either an axis or the back edge of the part. I'll select this line for that. So we want five in this direction and the spacing is going to be 0.6 and we need 10 in this and in this direction at a spacing of 0.25. It threw a warning because one inch was um, specified already. And we'll zoom out a little bit and we can see some of our pattern is coming through here, but it should sit within the part. We'll hit OK and we can see that it created a really nice 
looking uh, grill on the top of this design here. There's our original pattern leader here, and we've finished it across this part. Our last step is to create a sweep feature that follows the, uh, the design without us having to define any dimensions. So we're gonna flip the part over and we're gonna draw what we would like to be swept across the model. Inventor likes having a um, actual sketch to follow for the sweep. So to do that, we're just gonna draw a 2D sketch on this face here. And we're going to project. We'll select all of these parts here. And we just want that outside edge there. Make sure you work your way around. And I've selected everything on the outside. That's all projected onto the sketch now. So I have a sketch to select later when I want to sweep through. I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to start a new 2D sketch. And I'm going to start it on this face here. I'm going to rotate my part just to make it a little easier. And I'm going to draw a two point rectangle over in space. I will dimension this to be 0 0.0625 by 1 8th. And I want this point to be coincident right up top here. I'm going to make sure that the dimension from here to here is 0. And I'll say that the dimension here to that top point is also zero. I'll finish my sketch. And now I'm gonna take this profile and place it through that. So let's select the sweep feature. Selected my profile, I'm gonna select the curve. And we can see that it's going around the entirety of the part. It's in a cut operation. And I'm going to hit OK. If you don't want to see your original sketch, just turn visibility off. And that should complete the half of the blow dryer housing that required. That makes a really nice sweep around that whole part from that rectangular sketch. Don't forget to save your part.